Hey everyone, welcome back to another Splatoon Tips video. Um, all of the previous tips can be found in the video description below. If you already know these following tips, more power to you, but there are still a lot of people that don't practice these or don't know them because either they're new or they never realized they were making these mistakes in the first place. Anyway, let's continue where we left off in the previous general tips video. Video, video, video. Number six, save your teammates. Your teammates are important. So when they jump to you and it looks like they're going to die as a result of it, do your best to save them. So in this clip, my teammate decided to jump to me during the worst situation possible. I was being bombarded with splat bombs and normally there was no way he was going to survive this. But luckily I had my bubbler and when he landed, I shared my love with that person. You might be saying to yourself, but what if I don't have a bubbler? Well, you can always shoot at your teammate's location so they can safely swim away from danger upon landing. But the best way to save your teammate is to do the following. Here you see my teammate jumping to me and an enemy nearby thought he was going to get a free kill because he thought I left my teammate to die. Instead, I used my teammate's landing as a distraction and took that player out, saving my teammate. Just do a better job than I did and don't die. And even if you do die, big whoop. At least you saved your teammate, right? Trust me, your teammate will be forever grateful you saved his or her life. Take this clip for example. I decided to jump to my teammate and an enemy was waiting to kill me. But luckily my teammate realized this and took that player out before I landed. Thank you very much teammate. Love you. Number 7. Never give up, never surrender! I've had my teammates given up when my opponents gained a huge lead. In this clip, the enemy has already gotten the tower really close to our base, but eventually we were able to make a comeback and take the lead. Here's how we did it. Number 1. We attacked as a team. Don't try to be a one squid army. Number 2. Make sure all sides are covered and check that they are not flanking you. And number 3. Here is the most important part. I moved in. By getting close to the enemy, I'm diverting their attention away from the objective. Because now they have to worry about me getting all up in their grill. <laughs> I just bumped up to the top of their priority list. Just keep in mind that when you're trying to divert their attention by getting close to them, make sure they will be looking away from the objective or else this won't really help at all because if the opponent can see me and the objective at the same time, they will most likely just ignore me and just aim at the objective. Number 8. Pay attention to the objective. In this clip, this guy splats me and is completely unaware that my team is pushing the tower. Look at that, he thinks he's being clever, he thinks he's really good, but in reality he's quite the opposite. He's quite the opposite. He, he is the reason why his team lost. I'm just gonna let this play out. Yep, they lost. They lost because of him. But how do you pay attention to the objective? Here's what I do. Not only do I listen and look for the text that says, quote unquote, the enemy took control of whatever, whatever. Yeah, that one right there. I quickly look at the top of the screen and check to see if they are moving the objective. I do this constantly throughout the match. Go ahead, go ahead, try it right now. Just look up and see if it's moving. It took just one second, right? It's very simple and very quick. Just remember to constantly do this throughout the match and you should be fine. You're like, I do check it though. Yeah, but how often do you check it? Do you check it every couple of seconds? You need to check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know what I mean? Number nine, avoiding Krakens. In my opinion, Krakens are probably one of the worst specials out there. They are so easy to dodge, you can swim off to side and avoid them like this, or you can jump over them like this, or you can avoid them by hiding at the edges. The Krakens will not waste their time painstakingly checking the edges. Oh, and avoid hiding in corners, those are the most common places people will hide. Number 10. Watch out for sneaky snipers. Here's how most snipers operate. They stand in one spot and they won't move. They'll shoot and they'll miss. 
And you might think that those missed shots are harmless, but there are tricky snipers out there who will deliberately miss so they can swim up to you like this. So cover up any quote unquote missed sniper shots. Don't fall into the false sense of security that, oh, that sniper is still probably there waiting to shoot me. There are tricky snipers out there, fellow squids. Anyway, that's it for now. And as always, if you find these helpful or if you think these tips are helpful for other people, you know, please share them because if your teammates learn a thing or two, then you guys will get better and then you guys will start winning more. It'll be good times all around. Anyway, love you all. Until next time. Bye.